Welcome to our series on soldering and in this video we're going to look at how you remove a part that you've soldered in or called desoldering. Let's say I want to remove one of these LEDs I soldered. Let's say I put it in backwards or it's no longer working so I want to desolder it, right? Well I'm going to have to heat that one up right here and try to remove it. So I've got a couple of tools to help me, additional tools. One of them is this solder braid. If you look at it, it's copper braid and you'll just put it on the solder and heat it up with your iron it'll soak up solder. The other one's this solder sucker. It's spring-loaded, okay? So you'll just uh, put it down till it loads, you'll put it on the place, heat up the solder, and you'll push the button and it'll suck it up, okay? I brought in another little tool, helping hands. I'm, uh, I need to hold this steady, so I'm going to use these little alligator clips here. and We're just going to hook into our board here, and hopefully that'll help me hold that in place so when I desolder it it'll turn it'll it'll uh, be easier to you know just hold on it will not slide around as much okay all right so let's get busy and I've zoomed in a little bit hopefully this will help you see better okay so I've got some solder braid here and we'll just put it over this this um, thing we're going to desolder this lead from our from our LED and you have to be careful this heats up it's copper right it's going to heat up real fast so be careful how you hold it okay so I'm just using that solder braid and you can see it's soaking up the solder on that Ooh, it's picked up quite a bit of it oh and by touching it I drug some more out so let's put some more braid on it see how much of this we can soak up now sometimes this desoldering takes a bit of work and it could be quite frustrating, right? Um, but it is possible to do. Okay, ooh, I can see a hole on that first one a little bit. So I'm getting close on that one. And we might need to use that solder sucker too to pull some of that last bit off. Let's try some more here. So now what I'm doing is just trying to heat those two up and uh, both pads and just pull it out and I was able to do that. Okay. Now you noticed that uh, you may not be able to see it, but th there's kind of a hole here and there's not really there. I'm going to use the solder sucker to clean that out. And if what I had done hadn't worked, I would have used the solder sucker to uh, pull it out. Let's see what I can do. It's looking a lot better. Let's do it again. I didn't quite get it fast enough. So we're going to put the soldering iron in. Heat it up. Get my solder sucker ready and suck. Oh, nice clean hole. That's looking good. All right, we'll do it again. Heat up and then suck. And I've got a nice clean hole, okay, without any damage. I don't know what you can see there, but I was able to remove that part and still leave a hole to put another uh, LED in. This is a circuit board, a kit that I actually soldered, and it was working great, and then something happened, and um, this chip right here is bad. Now, the one that was here is uh, a, one that uh, there's a socket here right so I just put the chip in the socket so that one's pretty easy but this one's actually soldered in um, these ones at this level and if I flip it over you can see there's quite a bit of desoldering I'm going to need to do okay now I can try to do what I just did but I can tell you some of the challenge right each of these is connected to that chip and so trying to get them all heated and all removed is going to be a pain. And since I really don't care about, um, about keeping that chip, I'm going to replace it with another one that I have. Um, I'm going to clip the leads on it. Then that makes it uh, just uh, like one. So this is going to be pretty difficult to get in here and, and snap off. But I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to cut them off. Right there. All right. Let's get another one cut off. And I'm also careful not to break the board. So the whole idea is just to cut them off. 
I was able to snip this side, right? And I ended up removing this IC just to protect it. I didn't want to damage it. So I've got this side down. So now what I need to do is work on this side. So I've got two sets of pliers. I've got these little pliers and I have these, right? So I'm going to continue to work to uh, carefully snip those out without damaging anything else. And part of it will be just grabbing this, this chip carefully. I want to damage the circuit board. Uh, so I've got to be really careful here. Okay, really careful. We'll see what we can get done. There are two things I got to be careful of. One is that I desolder the right one. So I've got to desolder these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nothing more. Okay, so I want to be really, really careful here. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this solder wick again, carefully, and see what I can do. Now each one of these is individual, and we're going to probably be using that solder sucker based on how I uh, cut those pins. They were very hard to get into. Okay, so look at that. That one cleaned up really nice. Almost like there's nothing in it anymore. That one's got something in it. And again, that solder wick is getting hot. I have to be careful or I'll burn my hands. I was holding on to it off, off camera here. And uh, it'll get really hot if I'm not careful. So, okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring in the solder sucker to help us if we can finish this off. Uh, make this really, really good. All right, so this second one I can see whole, but it looks like I still got some stuff in there. So we're just going to heat it up and then suck. And that looks good. We're going to heat up and then suck. That one looks good. Now this is something that's going to be a little harder to see. What I've done is I've turned this circuit board on its side. And because I've got some wires still hanging out, where I thought I had got them clean because they're hanging on by thread. I'm just going to use these little needle nose pliers and heat it up from behind and then just pull it out like I just did. I got it on solder. That was a little bit of work and I was careful. I used a, a bit of the solder wick and that. And then what I did is I held, once I got them all out, I held it up to the window and I could see through the holes. It's hard to see through here, but I was able to see that there were a couple of them still a little plugged. So I heated them up just a little and sucked them out. Okay, so now I'm ready to um, put my chip in. So let's uh, let's look at doing that. Okay. What I have for this is a socket, and I've got to get the socket in right. There's a notch. If you see on this board here where I'm pointing, there's a little notch on the circuit board that tells me which way this uh, holder goes, and there's a notch on this, okay? So for this one, I'm actually going to put in a, a socket, all right? And we'll look on the back, and they are all sticking through. And now I am ready to solder. If you remember from the second video in this series, I'm going to tape this down, okay? So it'll just stay, and it doesn't come up as I solder. And you remember how I soldered it now, right? So I'm going to do that uh, with this, and we'll be done. So that's this um, little video. It's a little longer than the others, but how you go about desoldering. Again, not the easiest task, but it can be done. It's pretty easy to do if you have a single lead or a couple of leads, um, like with that LED. That one's pretty easy to do, but once you get a chip, you have to start cutting the things and be careful you don't hurt your circuit board. Catch you around.